Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival Show Off, yes. Today I will be showing off this magnificent design. This is Mac, meet Mac. And the Mac was created by Random Dude, yep, the gamer called Random Dude and this brings me and the line from one of the movies um i'm not gonna quote it but it was like something like dude you've got a tattoo really sweet what does it say dude what does my say sweet what does my say dude and so on so on you catch my drift hey right anyways let's get going um this is um really awesome stuff because I didn't know what to expect because when you uh, say uh, when you look at uh, Mac design you think about moving Mac but um, I didn't actually knew what it's gonna be is it gonna be a base is it gonna be capital vessel or a small vehicle and or even a hover vessel but this is really well balanced a uh, small vehicle as you can see um well probably you cannot see that much let me just bring up the hud and um, this is this is really nice uh, nicely done uh small vehicle with uh, lots of design uh, uh, cool features really nice details as you can see these uh, axles uh, <laughs> they are supposed to be moving but uh, but unfortunately Empyrean doesn't allow that uh, so yeah that's that's really sweet and I've um, uh, placed it on the uh, base and because it really has a uh, really really big stability issues when placed on the ground uh, with um, just a, a level difference so yeah it is really cool so let's hop on this interceptor uh, made by Russian Jesus, <laughs> Russian Jesus, uh, another user which allowed me to use one of his blueprints. So yeah, um, this design really is cool. So the random dude really did uh, a really awesome job, as you can see. Um, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get there. Probably I'm just gonna land on top of that. Uh, so yeah. Mm this uh, small vehicle um, with uh, really a shit ton of detail is nicely done uh, it uh, has uh, two uh, pulse cannons in his right arm and below which this is really awesome because it looks like a clip um, for the pulse cannon this is really awesome over here in the center below um, yeah between legs <laughs> You'd like to have a free Gatling guns. Holy shit! You see the stability? I just hit it. So let's stay away. Um, yeah, so it has free Gatling guns, which are really awesome. And over here, where I'm pointing, there is a, a small ammo box. And over here, there are two more ammo boxes. And here in the left arm we have six six rocket launchers. This is really nice. Um, and uh, and the fuel tanks are all around, all around the place. So we have one over here. We have one over here. Um, you saw that two over there as well. Oops. Let's try not to hit it some thrusters over there and down below there are two fuel tanks as well and one on the left leg and one on the right leg so yeah this is really really awesome and I love this uh, pack of his this is really cool now when it comes to the entrance um, yeah, I ah, should Easy peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, let me just try to do something like no, like so. 
right? Yeah, if only I could. Come on, easy there, easy. So as you can see, we're at this by this base, uh, and that's the Rados ref refinery. It's not a big deal, but um, we will check it out. What this bad boy can do. So let me ch just turn on this jetpack, uh, and maybe just maybe yes, yes, we've made it. We've made it to the entrance. Man, this level of detail is really, really awesome. I wonder how much time you spent uh, building all this. I actually added uh, two more uh, cargo boxes, not cargo boxes, but small ammo boxes. Um, I've just added them by myself to, you know, put those uh, 15 millimeters bullet which are needed to supply those awesome um, gatling guns between, it, between its legs so yeah let's no let's power this bad boy and let's see what can it do okay so let's um, um, give it a go look at this look, look how cool it shines with all the thrusters the thrusters uh, 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 facing downwards at his back really awesome be, be, be going sideways sweet alrighty so let's try to land over here and let's just turn off yeah it stays it still is, it, it, it is still on his feet so that's cool Righty then, uh, so let's go with the control panel. Uh, what do we have in here? We have a cockpit core, yeah, <laughs> the usual one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks. And the fuel consumption is not that big because it's just uh, uh, 2.2 megawatts with the max output of 5.4. Uh, it weighs like 25 tons, so that's really, really awesome. Uh, and it handles quite well, as you can see, it moves around just as a, a, a middle class, but by that I mean not heavy, small vehicle, but not, not light like the interceptor, um, which is part down below, but it, it, it moves really, really well uh, when it comes to the 25 tons. So as you can see, uh, beside the fuel tanks, we have three gelding guns between our legs down below. Three generators, which um, really amazes me that um, only three generators can uh, power this bad boy. So this is really sweet. We've got pulse cannon, uh, pulse lasers, two of those, and a bunch of RCSs, uh, which <laughs> allow to holy mother of thrusters yeah the amount of trusses i'm not gonna count them um because we've got uh eight seven nine ten maybe and like 20 armor, armor trusters but um it's not about the trusses it's the design i do really like it that uh, you've managed to make it stable oh this is the core ha <laughs> how convenient <laughs> i haven't seen that in the left leg uh, facing right uh, well, uh, looking at uh, the, the right side that that's the left leg if somebody has issues with um, directions and uh, yeah we have we have one um, one uh, torch not torch but the light the flashlight something like that okay so let's take this bit and let's see what can it do to to this refinery as usual i'm turning off the names uh, with the f9 key okay so what do we have here uh, eh, that's gonna suck cut link sweet holy burst of energy come on come on I don't know the distance okay let's turn it on again okay so they start shoot at me crap 
Right, so let's go in hot. Why not? Whoa. I don't know if I'm hitting ground or not. Oh, come on, sort of. What was that? Holy mother. It seems to be buggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's assess the damage. We've got two left. Two of those cannons left. But somehow we keep shooting the six. doesn't work anymore nice um, sorry random dude that I broke your machine but I just wanted to test it out there's one more cannon ah die you sucker right so I think that's gonna be it as it comes to the to those guys, I mean the towers, the turrets, and yeah, sweet. And there's the radar. Why not? Let's take it out. Although the Gatling guns doesn't seem to uh, cooperate with um, with the crosshair. Anyways, that's sweet. That's a havoc. Havoc. Come on. Oh, these are. I think these are. Yep. These are. Um, blah, 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 blah. Supply boxes. Destroy it. Destroy it. These are actually. Hmm. Constructors. Yeah. Oh, now I, I remember the, that base. Yeah, there's the... There's the farm. And the shit of enemies. In here, actually. Well, yeah, oh, okay. So let's see how it handles. While moving, I, I have increased uh, to the max uh, mouse sensitivity, but I don't have... Um, I don't have that um, awesome uh, gamer's mouse, unfortunately. Um, but if you'd like me to have one, hit that donate button. Ah, shit. Which I just made. Um, yeah, so um, if you'd like to uh, support me and donate me, you can do that nowadays with uh, PayPal system. I've added um, that um, info. Not info, but I've added the button at the, the main screen. So if you think I've saved served you well, you may leave a tip for me. That would be cool. Uh, and I promise I will. Why it's why it does why is it tilted? I don't know. Okay, mm, uh, so yeah, I've added this. Oh come on, open those doors. Ah. Okay, something moved, something sh shrinked. I guess I need to. Sorry, but I want to get out. Right. So something, something f f f freaked out with this design after the hit. As you saw, it shrinked. Unfortunately, we've lost all of um, all of those beautiful rockets. But um, on that attack, but all to all, I think this is really awesome design. And random dude, you really did a decent job. And the amount of work, I, I'm really amazed how much time you have to spend to make something like this, or 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 
all all of those um, blueprints which you have may have seen in my previous videos because I've been showing off um, some stuff uh, lately and um, yeah this really amazes me how much time do you really need to spend to make this uh, thing fly and be stable and sit on um, on a platform at least because as you can see well it's a CV and it sometimes just tilts itself on uh, bumps and stuff but really man this is really awesome stuff I do love it and the uh, way how you build the legs and allow the stability to this really amazes me because if you land your uh, CV like that it just goes like all over the place and it doesn't matter if it's um, it doesn't matter if it's on a tilted uh, land or not it just finds a way to you know Yeah, I was. I'm wondering about those 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 drones. Because if you, yeah, you see, you see what I mean. Just leave it sitting there, and it's going into different places. And probably in just a second, it will just flip um, on the back. And yeah, and with this guy, the stability issues doesn't seem to be effective. So this is really awesome. I do like it. So, cheers to you, random guy. You did really, really awesome, awesome stuff. I do love it. Uh, so, if you would like to share this video, please do not hesitate. Please do do that. And um, yeah, that's. I think we're gonna conclude our video on the show of the of this awesome, um, awesome mech made by random dude dude you get a tattoo sweet what does my say yeah yeah oh, okay i know um it's not that funny anymore it was funny 16 years ago anyways um i've got also a message from jaxis um, my delivery guy of the blueprints uh, he told me that he made uh, that he upgraded his tow truck his hover truck unfortunately it's not longer available on steam workshop but uh, probably he will do some more updates and um, uh, reload that blueprint on his steam uh, account and he also did a flatbed uh, of that truck so yeah cheers to you Traxis once again uh, Traxis sent me over as I said a lot of designs and I do appreciate those and uh, gave me some nice ideas about for, for example the show, show offs um, and I hope it's gonna work so yeah um, that's gonna be it for today's episode if you like the video like consider subscribing comment in the comment section down below uh, and in and if you have any cool design that you would like to show to other gamers to to my youtube youtube um people uh please contact me via comment or facebook or google plus or whatever you'd like to contact me uh, or steam account just uh, find me on um, name by borek that's b-o-r-e-k and yeah that's it that's it i do also have uh, my own um, steam workshop channel with my crappy designs because i'm not a designer i'm just a, a guy who likes to uh, play the games and um, show stuff of some other users which usually have a great um, uh, great ideas so yeah and if you'd like you can leave also a tip as i've mentioned via paypal and if you did uh, please do give me a shout about that so i can uh, thank you in person in one of my videos so as i said that concludes today video i'm i will contact uh, other users uh, steam users and uh, 
and ask them to sh to allow me to show off their designs because I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to do that without the permission. Uh, legal stuff and and things like that. You know what I mean. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope I'll see you around in the next episode. So till then, have fun playing Empyrean and other games, and I hope I'll see you around in the next one. My name is Borek, and I'm logging off. See you.